today's topic is that your perception is the only master of your reality. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Law of Attraction Detox, where we detoxify from toxic techniques and instead focus on our true nature, which is where everything manifests. So today I want to talk about how your perception is the only master that you must adhere to if you truly desire to create the love life of your dreams, the money that you've always wanted, or the health that you know is possible. So... I hear so often people say things like, well, that's just reality. That's just how, how things work, or that's the way life is, or this always happens to me, um, or why does this always happen, or how, how do I change this? And the biggest hurdle that I see is that people's minds are um, not capable of knowing the unknown. Their minds are not capable of harnessing God's infinite wisdom and the energy of all it is. And so they scramble to make sense of the world by using the past or using other people's concepts, which have been taught to them. And I've been there too my whole life. I thought that, you know, life was just the way it was like that saying it is what it is. Another thing that I just really can't stand when I hear because it's not true. It is what it is until it isn't. And then it's something else. So when you start to realize that all of the concepts that we've had, all of the ideas and beliefs and structures that we've held our life up around, none of them actually exist. None of them are actually solidly truth. Okay, so I want to sh- give you an example that can really land home for you. If you perceive, let's say a person comes into your life you really like this person, you're hoping to have a relationship with this person, and and your um, limiting beliefs allow you to only perceive this person as they don't show up for me, they don't um, care about me, they aren't choosing me, they are, they're not, um, they're not showing me that I'm worth, that I'm really worth it to them. Um, you know, make a, make your own list of things that you see in your relationship or your, your desired relationship with your specific person. Like start making a list of all the things that you are perceiving. This person doesn't show up for me. They don't care about me. Okay. And then make a list of all the ways that you would like to be shown up for. Okay. How would you like to have your relationship be? Okay. This is something that you should know like the back of your hand. You should be able to rattle off a whole list of things. This person adores me. My person shows up for me. My person makes me a priority. They always show me that I am valuable to them. Every time that I'm with them, I know for certain that this person sees my value. This person um, is always reaching out to me. It's equal effort. It's reciprocal. This person is, is totally in love with me. This person loves everything about me. This person is curious about me. This person wants to um, give to me. This person respects me. This person wants to listen to what I have to say and cares about my opinion and my feelings. I I could keep going. This person wants to make me his wife, um, his prize. This person wants to be with me. They can't imagine being with anyone else. These are all the things that can only come from a state of being of pure love where that essence transfers into all of your beliefs, everything you think, everything you speak, everything you do. You've created a whole person based off of lies that you're telling yourself about how the world works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are no good men out there. How many times I've heard that? Uh, yeah, well, She'll only stick around if I have money. How many times have I heard things like that? Okay, so I want to challenge your perceptions. I want to challenge what you think is true. And you might be saying, well, yeah, but Kristen, that's what I keep seeing. This person keeps showing up like this. My specific person is not calling me. They're not contacting me. They don't see my worth, my love. 
that is because you are still perceiving them from an old paradigm. You're perceiving them as someone that doesn't show up for you. And so it is up to you to change that belief. And maybe you have a limiting belief. Maybe there are some things that are in there like um, relationships are hard. Why would I even really, I actually want one? If you have, see, if you have beliefs that are counter, counter to what you want, like let's say you want to be really wealthy, but you don't want to actually have the responsibility of wealth. So your, your real true nature is one of pure love, pure abundance, pure light. And, and, and then we pick up extra shit along the way. You know, like those sticky rollers that you like roll the lint off your body. You know, like we end up sticking, sticking extra things to ourselves that inhibit us from our true experience, from a, a pure state of being, one of seeing things from the eyes of truth. When you see things through the eyes of truth, then you no longer have a story. And when you see things from the purity of truth and love, the stories don't even matter. I want this. I want that. I want to be here. I want to go there. I want this love. I want... It doesn't even matter because you're so filled and so full that there is nothing left that you need. And once there's nothing left that you want, every little spark becomes like the best juicy fruit you've ever had. Every little spark of inspiration, a little spark of inspiration a feeling of love, a smelling of a rose. And this, you might think this is stupid shit, but you know what? This is what manifests. I feel the breeze on my skin and I know right then and there that my, my life is perfect. I hear the birds, I see the sunshine and I just think, my God, can it get any better than this? My children laugh. Is, is there anything more that I need? But that takes work. That takes work. It took practice. It took time and effort. I didn't just wake up out of my suicidal depression and then, and then become into this place where I just was whole. <laughs> I made a conscious choice. You have to want your life to be different so bad. You want to be, you want to be so addicted to changing the way you perceive your life. So that you can experience life in its fullness before you take your last breath. Because I guarantee when you're on your deathbed, you're going to look back. If you haven't done this work, and you're going to wish that you did. So there's no more excuses. There's no more excuses of, yeah, but this is just reality. This is the way life works. No. Who decides what reality is? Who decides how life works? You do. You the master within you decides. And I've decided that I don't want to be in charge of life anymore. I don't want to be holding on by the reins, trying to make everything fit into what I want. I need to make this specific person my person. And if I don't, I mean, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put 20 hours a week into doing these, these techniques so that I can make this specific person mine. Then I'll know what true love is. You know, and it's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like kind of like making this like jokingly because I was there. I used to constantly be obsessing about trying to make a certain person see me and be my person. And the more I tried, the more pain and suffering I found. And the more pain and suffering I found, the less this person even gave a shit about me. So I finally said, F it all. And I gave it all up. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to surrender and, and I'm going to start perceiving life as always showing up for me. That every single thing in my life is something that's bringing me closer to more love, to more experiences of love, to the expansion of love, and to the having and holding of love, to the knowing of love, and everything else in between, which is just love. I want to know more love. And when I lined up with that truth, when I've discovered that within, then you know what? I didn't need a single technique. And all of my perceptions naturally changed into one of a good 
quote, good perception of the world, where I naturally saw the good in situations. I naturally expect good to happen. I naturally expect that this person's going to show up for me. I naturally expect that I'm going to be provided for, that I'm going to have what I need when I need it. Not a moment sooner either. You know, that, that used to be really frustrating for me. Why? But I want it now. You don't hold the keys. God holds the keys. And when you just hand that knowledge over and you just say, you know what? I am tiny. My mind can't fathom how this is going to happen. But I trust and I know when you pray and you say, dear God, I am ready to receive the love of my life. And you know, you've written down a list of what values this person has. And you know what kind of person that you deserve and what kind of person you're asking for, it's already given. It's done. It's, it's as soon as it's spoken and uttered. Thank you in reverence. You can feel it in your body. It is already done. Then your only job is maintaining that knowing that your prayer is already done. How do I do it, Kristen? That's what I keep getting from my clients, but they can, they can attest that when they shift into the state of being of love, which means they love themselves and accept themselves and love and accept the other people that maybe have done harm to them even. And they start to love and accept that all of the circumstances in their life have been for them. And they start to focus on themselves and their own bodies and their own embodiment of love. <laughs> time and time again, my clients keep telling me, oh, wow. I actually know what you're talking about now. My thoughts have been naturally positive. My thoughts have been naturally shifting. I have been not stressing or worrying. And then they start to see good things happen in their life. Things become effortless in their lives. It's, it's amazing. And it's, it's like miracles. Okay. It's like miracles. And I just overflow with joy <laughs> at the chance to work with someone. If you want to work with me, the link is down below. Contact me. I do hypnotherapy as well as coaching. That's a combination of the two in the sessions. I have powerhouse three pack right now. Check it out. Give me a, just give me an email. That's an email is free. Okay. What I'm trying to get at in this video is that your perception, your perception changes everything. Because when you show up from a state of confidence that you know that what you've asked for is on the way, then you no longer grasp at someone. You no longer try to fit someone into a box or a mold. You instead, you instead are, I love this analogy. I'm going to give one more analogy. This video is getting kind of long. But I, I, you know, as a hypnotherapist, I use a lot of analogies and they're really helpful because they, you can see how it makes sense in the body somehow with these analogies. So this one in particular is an arch, another archery scenario. I'm a Sagittarius rising. So I use a lot of archery <laughs> things because it's like you pull your arrow, you pull your bow back. You have your arrow pointed at what? My arrow is pointed at the expansion of love, the expansion of love within me. And with the intention of also helping others find their true nature, which is love within them. So if everything I do is lined up with that, and by the way, the target, the target that I'm trying to hit is infinite. So I want you to discover what is your infinite target and drop a, a comment down below if you have an idea of what your target is, your target goal, your end goal is the experience of love, the expression of my authentic self. You, you Tell me what it is for you. Cause that's beautiful. That's, that's your goal in life. And, and, and again, the goal, you will never hit that target. It's infinite. But along the way in your experience in this body, in this human existence, you get to pierce through many experiences. And you can imagine kind of like a, a piece of paper with a target on it and you're piercing through that. So this person shows up in your life and you think, gosh, this might be the one. I don't know though, because I'm piercing through to the end target of my beloved, my beloved that God has planned for me. Okay. That is what I have planned for me. And it might be you and it might not be you. 
that is how you become less grasping and less and then and then you know what all of your perceptions line up on target with I'm getting what I want I'm getting what I want and then as you are so confident that you're getting what you, what you want you begin to behave in such a confident manner that the person that you desire is like wow this person's really amazing and incredible I feel amazing around this person Instead of the alternative where you're like, I'm not sure, it better be you because if it's not you, I'll never have another person in my entire life and you're grasping. And they're like, why do I feel like I'm suffocating when I'm with this person? I've been there. I was, you know, squeezing so tight. I'm like, ah. holding a little bunny until it like, until you suffocate it from petting it too hard, you know? Like this is the reality is when you show up with a certain perception of I'm getting what I want and I deserve what I want. And I don't care when it comes because I'm already full of love. Then every thought is one of just, oh, pure, pure wonder. And if it isn't one of pure wonder, you go in right away and love it. You love the person that is doubting. You love the part of yourself that is worried. You love the part of yourself that is feeling anxious. Maybe this... This person isn't contacting me and maybe they aren't into me. <sighs> Remember, you're on target. Let's pierce through this situation. Pierce through it. Then you become it. <laughs> Contact me below. I'd love to get started with you. One more person to help. <laughs> Just make my day. <laughs> love you.